Hi everybody, this is John Bustard here from Awaken, uh, producers of the Irish and Stories. Um, this is all about your story and it's a chance to share your favourite tale and how you heard it. Um, so firstly, uh, a little about myself. Um, my name, as I said, is John Bustard. I'm the producer on the Irish and Stories. Um, I've had a long-standing interest in, in mythology and in stories and storytelling. Um, you know, I've worked on different historical projects from uh, the Kingdom of Dalriera uh, right the way through to Titanic and more recently, um, you know, really enjoyed working on the Irish and Stories. Um, who inspired uh, me with um, stories? Uh, I suppose it was a mixture of my grandmother and her brother, my Uncle Tommy, and my father's passion uh, for history and my mother's memory of, of family history and stuff. Um, the story uh, and the version that I'm going to talk about, um, well there are two actually, I'm going to talk about the Puka and the Pump Woman. And I'll just close with my, my my name again, which is John Bustard, and the website is www.theirishandstories.com. The Puka and the Pump Woman. I suppose I need to put this in context. Uh, my grandmother um, was a fabulous uh, tale teller, um, really good fun, uh, had lots of little clever ways to keep um, quite a large number of grandchildren busy and interested and enthused on our summer holidays in Donegal. Um, she would uh, uh, basically set up little adventures for us uh, and her brother, my uncle Tommy, who was still a fisherman and farmer at the time, would play along, uh, and obviously um, he saw, you know, the benefit and the richness and the types of experience that we were getting. Um, so the puka um, is is a, a very famous old um, Irish tale about a, a nightmare pig. Um, this this uh, little dark animal could actually fly, uh, and I can always remember being told stories at the fireside in my uh, uncle's little thatch cottage in Donegal, where uh, my grandmother and her four siblings were were, were born and raised, and and their families before them. Um, and I can always remember this story about the puka because we would stay in a field up the road camping and every time that I would hear this story when I would walk up the very dark road because there were no lights on it um, back up to, to the campsite where we would stay um, I was in absolute fear uh, and trepidation of this pig flying down between my legs and taking me off on this nightmarish ride. Now, if you know Donegal, particularly southwest Donegal, I mean, you have the highest sea cliffs in Europe. Now, I cannot imagine a more scary ride than being taken around the coastal areas there and maybe, uh, fingers crossed, dropped off back at home. But um, the puka was one story which put absolute fear in my heart. Um, and the second story, which was an interesting one in that um, I suppose stories were sometimes uh, constructed to, to keep us all safe and away from particular things. Now Ireland's full of wells uh, and you know steep crevices and various things but um, my uncle Tommy used to tell us uh, and my grandmother as well about the, the old pump woman and her name was Rosanna and Rosanna um, was was basically, uh, she lived down a well on Rosanna's Lane, which was, I suppose, maybe a couple of hundred yards up the road past where we lived, and, and in, in some senses probably a boundary as to how far as children we should really be going. Um, there was definitely an old well up there which was slightly overgrown and I suppose was very dangerous from that perspective. So the story goes that the old pump woman um, had 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 some very bad wranglings and had lost her arm and actually had an old metal arm and she lived down this well and basically she sought the souls of young children and if they came too close she would pull them down into the well and hold them there for all time. Now, you know, the descriptions that my grandparents would put into these things, um, still to this day, when I walk past Rosanna's Lane, I am still in fear of my life about the, the pump woman and where she would be. I think it was uh, one of the incredible powers of that, that as a 40-year-old, 41-year-old adult, that I, I still have difficulties walking past that very road. So um, those would be my favourite two tales. Um, I, I really look forward to hearing, you know, what interests you uh, and uh, thank you.
thank you very much for your time. This is John Bustard from The Irish and Stories, www.theirishandstories.com. Thank you.